welcome everyone so now we have another configuration and this time this configuration is given and this is self bias configuration and this is example 7.8 in the book again we are we need to find the idq and the vgsq that is to find the q point and secondly we need to find the vd so these are our two unknowns in this configuration and we have n channel depletion type mosfet as you can have a look this is the symbol of n channel depletion type mosfet and we have idss 8 milliampere and vp minus 8 volt so again to find the q point that is to find the idq and vgsq we need to have two curves one is the transfer characteristic curve or device characteristic curve and second is the network characteristic curve or load line curve so to find the transfer characteristic curve we know that for the depletion type MOSFET we need four points so to plot the transfer characteristic curve we require four points that is when VGS is equal to zero we have ID is equal to IDSS in this case the idss is 8 milliampere so this is our one point which is 0 and 8 milliampere and the second point is that when vgs is equal to vp which is minus 8 volt i have id is equal to 0 so this is my second point and for the third point when vgs is equal to vp divided by 2 that is minus 4 volt i have id is equal to idss divided by 4 which is 8 divided by 4 which is 2 milliampere so this is my third point and this point is minus 4 and 2 milliampere and then we also need to find the positive the drain we need to find the drain current for positive vgs so again i am going to take the positive vgs which is 2 volt and i am going to put in the shockley equation which is id is equal to idss 1 minus vgs divided by vp all square and this comes out to be for VGS is equal to 2 volt. I have ID is equal to 12.5 milli ampere. So this is 12.5 milli ampere, and this is my fourth point. And my fourth point is 2 and 12.5 milli ampere. So now we are good to go to plot the transfer characteristics. And next is the network equation. So again, I can op open circuit this for DC analysis and I can open circuit this. And because IG is equal to zero, so the voltage drop across here will be zero. So this can be short circuited. So if I simplify this, I am going to get a short circuit over here. So that is why VG is equal to zero. And then I can apply a KVL over here and the drain current is going to flow and this is my VGS which is also a drop and the current through our, the resistor is also a drop so this is going to be VGS plus IDRS is equal to 0 ID because IS is equal to ID so this comes out to be VGS is equal to minus IDRS so this is going to be my network equation and when id is equal to 0 we have vgs is equal to 0 so one of my points is 0 and 0 and when id is equal to idss divided by 2 which is 4 milliampere we have vgs is equal to minus 4 milliampere into rs which is 2.4 kilo ohm and that comes out to be minus 9.6 volt so this is my other point and my second point is minus 9.6 and 4 one of my points is 0 0 and the other point is minus 9.6 and 4 so now i am going to plot the transfer characteristics using these four points and using these two points i am going to plot the network equation so let me draw the transfer characteristics and network equation plot over here so I'm going to draw a plot. This is going to be my y-axis and this is going to be 
my x axis and this is my drain current and this is going to be my vgs this is positive side of vgs and this is the negative side of vgs first point is when vgs is equal to 0 id is equal to 8 so let's suppose id is this thing so this is my idss which is 8 milliampere so this is one of my points and when vgs is minus 8 volt id is equal to 0 so vgs is equal to vp which is minus 8 volt is my second point and this point id is equal to 0 and when vgs is minus 4 volt let's suppose the minus 4 volt is over here we have id is equal to 2 milliampere so the 2 milliampere is over here so we have this point and finally when vgs is 2 volt let's suppose 2 volt is over here i have id 12.5 milliampere which is somewhere over here so this is my other point so to draw the transfer characteristic curve i need to join these two point these points so now this is my transfer characteristic curve and i have plotted this using these points and now i need to draw the network characteristic curve or the load line curve and one of the point is 0 0 which is this point so this point is 0 0 this is my p1 and the other point is minus 9.6 and 4 so the minus 9.6 and 4 is around you can say around here so i am going to join these two points using the straight line and here i am going to get the idq as well as the vgsq so the idq if you carefully try it it comes out to be 1.7 milliampere and the vgsq comes out to be minus 4.3 volt so now we have found out the vgsq and the idq we can now find out the rest of the equation again idq was minus 1.7 milliampere sorry and vgsq was minus 4.3 volt so next is to find the vd and if you can have a look vd is equal to vdd minus id rd and this is going to be equal to 20 volt minus 1.7 milliampere because idq is 1.7 milliampere and rd is 6.2 kilo ohm if you simplify this you will get vd equals to 9.46 volt so this is my vd which is 9.46 volt and we can also find vs by using idrs and then we can find the vds which is vd minus vs vd is this thing vs will be found from this and we can put values and find the values of vds so that's how we can solve the self bias configuration of the n channel depletion type mosfet thank you